Hi, so today we're going to be talking about gene modification. Gene modification is basically going in to change the DNA sequence of a living organism. To give you some background information, in 1980, the first patent was given for microbe engineers to absorb the oil. In 1994, the first modified food went, to, went on sale, which was the tomato. The, the tomato was uh, could not easily uh, rotten, which goes back to the GMOs. In today's world, uh, gene modification has developed uh, growth hormones and clotting medications. Some issues that gene modification has brought is that gene editing uh, has become really expensive. Uh, people feel uncomfortable and have developed the idea of a perfect world and, uh, and how uh, people will reject non-perfect uh, non humans. So because gene editing is so expensive, they develop CRISPR. So CRISPR has the ability to cut the, um, because it's so expensive, but also because what would take a year's work to work, well, you can do it in weeks. Um, so they think they have some ideas that it could eventually end diseases, it can create designed babies, and then have eternal youth. So by ed ending diseases, in 2015, um, scientists used CRISPR to cut the HIV virus out of a living cells from patients. And so they also did this in 2016 with rats. Um, so they eventually think that because of these triumphs in their work, that they can eventually like get rid of cancer, herpes, and then HIV. And then you can make design babies, so you can alter their genes. You can make them have like long, beautiful hair. You can have them be super smart. Um, and then you can also have them have colored eyes. And then they also say that you can get eternal youth. So by um, by using gene modification, you can reverse or even slow down aging in the future because now there are two thirds of 150,000 people die from age. So they think that by having this, you can like be like, instead of dying at 90, you can live on for like a thousand years, which is pretty impossible. But, um, but some challenges that they're facing is that um, CRISPR is not really infallible yet. So, like, they can do, um, they can take away a disease, but it can also, like, alter something in the body and it can make it, like, bad. But it can also, um, they don't know, like, about the complex interplay of our genes to avoid unpredictable outcomes, so that's another reason why it hasn't been so successful.